guys, I am Lisette Adams. I'll be doing confidence interval for the difference in means for independent samples. So um, we'll be doing exercise 6.6 .6 on page 112 in our module, which reads as follows. A large multi-branch bank is affiliated with both MasterCard and Visa credit cards. For a random sample of 100 MasterCard holders, it is observed that the average month end account balance is 682.58 with a sample standard deviation of 307.05 rand. For a random sample of 100 Visa card holders, the average month in account balance is 550.55 with a sample standard deviation of 265.29. So in this scenario, we are given um, the sample, which is 100 for both MasterCard and the Visa card. And then if we can see that the information that follows is based on the samples. Therefore, we know that um, we use this equation for an unknown and unequal variance. So we have a sample of, for the MasterCards, we have a sample of 100, a mean of 68 point, or 682.58. We have S of 307.05. And then for the Visa cards, we have a sample of 100, and a mean of 550 and then the standard deviation of 265.29. So because we have said that our variance for population is unknown, we will use this equation which has the standard deviation. So I will now substitute everything into the equation which will be 2, oh sorry, 682. So to calculate our alpha over 2, we are told that our confidence interval is 95. Therefore, we can say that 1 minus alpha equals to 0, 0,95. Therefore, our alpha will be 0, 0,05. And then we'll divide that by 2, giving us 0 0.025, which will give us that. Right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and then I'm she she not not <laughs> she's talking on her side. She's like, I don't have space. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it coming. <laughs> oh my god. I'm really sorry. <laughs> okay, now how do I Okay, so can someone please calculate this for me? The difference of the means <clears throat> while someone finds that in the table so long. We have the difference as 132.03. And then what's the Z from our table, not forgetting that for Z we use the second table because we do not have this value in the first table. Therefore, we will say 1 minus alpha over 2, giving us 0 0.975. Sorry? 1.960. Okay. Yes. 
sorry. Um, what if I started with the x bar of b and minus the x bar of um, Mastercard? Would I be wrong or? No, you wouldn't be wrong. Um, you'd get a different value over here, mm -hmm. but then your confidence interval at the end should be the same. So if it's different, then you should know something's wrong. So it doesn't matter which one, you can interchange them. Okay, can someone please calculate our lower bound with the subtraction? everyone get the same answer yeah. oh, okay so according to this we can then say that we are 95 percent confident that the true mean for um the month end account balances for both mastercard and visas lies between 52.49 and 211.56 yeah this thing of like living the answer in multiple places for the final, over here you can leave it like this and then when you're now writing your summary, it's best to just round off to two or one decimal places because you now have your accurate answer. Any more questions? Okay, thank you. Can I can I jump in? Mm -hmm. We can yeah. start it with the other one, right? Mm. Like if we switched it around. Okay. Can would someone not... switch around? I want to see. I'm saying if you did switch around, would your conclusion not be the same, but not the confidence interval? Mm. Because you'd be saying that the master oh. card is less than, like something something less than. Okay. Uh, this much. But can, like... can someone quickly switch so we can see? Negative. Let's switch them around. Negative one thirty six point seven one nine zero. And negative. They're not supposed to not be equal, it's just that one is supposed to, it's supposed to be both negative answers of the same kind. They're supposed to be yeah. 52 and 2. Yeah, yeah they're yeah, the same, they're just negative. Yeah, they're, they're, the same. they're the same. So if you do, if you do swap these things around, you're going to get minus 211.5631. Then minus 52.4969. So you're correct to say it won't necessarily be the same confidence interval. Well, you swap them around. You swap them around, around negative. and they're both negative. But the conclusion you're making is the same, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you swapped, you had initially swapped, yeah, so you had initially subtracted the visa from the, the MasterCard, Master right? So meaning you are saying MasterCard. <coughs> minus visa is greater than zero because both your answers are positive right mm. so you're saying mastercard is more than visa right but if i swapped if, if i subtracted visa less mastercard it means for me it's less than zero but still i'm saying the same thing i'm saying i'm saying that mastercard is actually more than, than visa me. yeah so the answer won't necessarily the confidence intervals themselves won't be the same, but to the conclusion you are making is the same. Let's say the um, lower bound is negative 2, 1, 1, and then the upper bound is a positive number, let's say maybe 2. So then we can say the message negative difference. So if what happened, sorry? If the lower bound is negative 2 point something, and yeah. the upper bound is a positive 1, let's yeah. say, then, so there's no then there's no significant difference. difference. Yeah, so if 0 was included, if zero was included in either of these confidence intervals, then we'd say there's no significant difference between MasterCard holders and Visa holders. Mm 